Gina Rollins, a well-known actress in independent films, has passed away at the age of 94. She was famous for starring in unique and thoughtful movies directed by her husband, John Cassavetes. Rollins' death was confirmed by the representative for her son, Nick Cassavetes, but no further details were given. Born in 1930, Rollins was the daughter of a state senator from Wisconsin. As a child, she was often sick and picky about food, but her mother was very creative and playful. In a 1996 interview, Rollins shared a memory of her mother cutting a carrot into the shape of a goldfish to get her to eat it. In 1950, Rollins moved to New York to study acting, where she met Cassavetes. She eventually left school and began acting on stage, including a role in a Broadway play. In 1954, she married Cassavetes, and the couple worked together in television and film. Rollins was known for bringing life to even the most delicate characters, while Cassavetes became a leading independent film director. Together, they made 10 films, many of which were shot in their Los Angeles home, often featuring friends like Peter Falk. One of their most famous films, A Woman Under the Influence, told the story of a troubled housewife trying to make her husband happy. Roland said it was her favorite movie because it showed a tough moment in a person's life. Rollins was nominated for an Oscar for her role in A Woman Under the Influence and again for her role in Gloria in 1980, where she played a gangster's ex-girlfriend. She explained that the role wasn't originally written for her, but she convinced her husband to direct the movie, and she enjoyed making it. In 2015, Rollins received an honorary Oscar for her career. She also played significant roles in other films, including Another Woman with Woody Allen, Night on Earth by Jim Yarmouche, and The Notebook, directed by her son Nick Cassavetes, where she portrayed a woman with Alzheimer's. In 2024, Nick Cassavetes revealed that his mother was diagnosed with dementia, saying, she's in full dementia. We lived it, she acted it, and now it's on us.